after doing my unboxing video, I still haven't really cleaned up the office very much. It's been working. You can see there that I'm rendering um, the uh, blog from uh, from yesterday. So uh, yeah, it's becoming a little bit of a quicker process. I guess it only took me about an hour and a half. Um, so I don't have as much content as some other vloggers might have. So maybe that's why it's taking me less. And I'm also not doing as fancy audio stitching as some others might do, but nevertheless, I am cleaning this place up because it gets so busy and so messy so quickly. Yeah. So this is Dad. He's going to be here to help me put a projector on the ceiling or to put a projector somewhat projecting down onto the table. Yeah. Um, I, I, other than that, I could come and stand there with the projector on yeah. the ceiling, hold it holding on the it. ceiling. And hold the mirror as well. Does the then we don't yeah. need, yeah. and we need you to wear a barbarian costume Absolutely. to show off your pecs. Yeah. This is a requirement. Okay. I guess you mean the rugby team barbarians. No, I mean like a, a barbarian, like a barbarian, barbarian in furs. Of course you would be, yes. yes. Alright, let's do this. My dad just left. Uh, helping me do some of the mount for the ceiling for the projector. Um, unfortunately, it turned into what normally sort of transpires with us, so that we have a bit of difficulty communicating, um, and we both fall into old patterns uh, where it's difficult for us to give each other feedback, or maybe it's just difficult for me to get it. I'm not going to say that it's just on my side, uh, because it's difficult for me to believe that it's just a wholly uh, an error from my part, but I mean, I'll take it if that's what needs to be. For now, what I've done is I've just plugged in the projector, and it's going to project against the wall here. I will clean this up because it is a complete pigsty, but you look now, hopefully when this that will move like that, and you can use the map like this, sort of to show different parts of the map. So hopefully it'll look better. I got this bucket here in order to make myself a mini washing machine using a video instruction that I found on YouTube. However, I seem to have misplaced the plunger before even using it. Um, and so I have now gone way past the expiry date of my laundry and started using clothes and various other underwears and whatever from the pile that I was going to get rid of to Salvation Army. So you can tell by the shorts that I'm wearing that these are definitely out of my shit pile. Uh, so what I've had to do is use the washing machine after all anyway because I ended up filling a full load up. So trials and tribulations of being a person that loses a lot of things quite regularly. It's a little frustrating. Another thing that I do all the time is I look off camera rather than looking at the camera when I'm talking about stuff and I'm not really sure why I do that. Maybe I'm just not used to talking to the camera. Um, for such a prolonged period of time without looking away. So this is the creepy access that I have down to the laundry room. Very, very steep stairs. There's pretty much almost no door you get into this area here. And I have neglected to do my laundry in time. And someone else has put my clothing on the washer. Even less content today. It seemed like I was procrastinating a lot of the day, to be honest with you, or trying to get uh, focus on work that didn't end up getting done. I had role-playing as well uh, tonight, uh, as you can sort of see from the area here. Um, the projector whole scenario was a complete and utter failure. Uh, because the resolution of the my computer display and of the um, projector were different, the The, the way that I, I used the pen to draw with was slightly off, so I had to draw to the left of where I wanted to draw, which made it completely useless and pretty much un, un, uh, unusable. Um, so I'm going to have to try and figure out a different way or a different projector or a different sort of scenario to make that work properly. A um, couple things in terms of my content. I have realized that I say the word so a lot in my stuff whenever I've been editing. I keep having to cut out me saying the word so between things. 
Also, when I often finish saying something, I kind of tack on something on the end that doesn't have to be tacked on. Something about saying, this is interesting, or this is neat, or this is a point. Uh, and I have to cut that out as well. So, becoming a little bit more fluid vocally with what I am talking about and knowing and being confident about what I'm going to talk about is an important step moving forwards.